On this session, we're going to talk about if the edge banding tape is not properly centered, what you need to do to fix the problem. So prior to making our adjustment, it's much easier if we go ahead and remove the cover assembly prior, it just makes easier access all the way around. So now that we have the cover removed, you can see that we have much better visibility and access to the different uh, parts. So this would be the bolt on the aft side of the uh, seat assembly and then this is the bolt here on the forward side. So each of those have a set of washers as shims underneath it. So whether if you have to raise it or lower it will mean either adding more washers to it or removing washers that are currently there. So once we have this assembly centered properly with the edge banding tape, then we want to raise and or lower this assembly uh, so it matches uh, the two. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is the pressure roller. We've had issues with customers in the past where the stationary pressure roller has become loose. And the only way to properly tighten that is you got to remove the whole assembly from the frame. So there are four mounting bolts, cap screws, which screw in from the bottom up, four millimeter cap screws. So all four of those have to be removed. And then also these two here on the back for the spring assembly. Next, I'd like to talk about the feed roller assembly for the edge banding tape. So as you can see, the rubber roller on the front, as I turn that, how these rollers then will turn and then feed the edge banding tape through the system. So if there is ever an issue with this where it's not properly turning, you may have to go ahead and dis make a disassembly in order to pull this off and access the rack and pinion assembly to it. So in order to access this, you will first need to remove the infeed fence assembly, which is right here, two mounting bolts, which you have here and here, as well as uh, removing the infeed fence assembly right here, sliding this out of the way so that it clears of all this before you go to removing. And then all that uh, you're looking at in removing this are the two mounting bolts here on the front and this mounting bolt here on the back. And it'll lift right out of there nice and easily.